He has done great things. My God has done great things. He alone has done great things. Greater things he will do. He has done great things. I bless his holy name. He will do bigger things. He has done great things. My God has done great things. He alone has done great things. Greater things he will do. He has done great things. I bless his holy name. Psalm 126 verse 3 says, The Lord has done great things. Wherefore, we are glad. We've brought you a, a clip that says, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. We took it from the hymnal. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. All ye that are heavy hearted. All ye that proclaim in your God. Bid darkness and sorrow cease. Rejoice, oh yes. Rejoice and be glad. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. Oh yes. Rejoice, oh yes. Rejoice, oh yes. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Psalm 126. The Lord has done great and marvelous things. Wherefore, we are glad. When the Lord turned again our captivity, Psalm 126, one, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. May God cause this to be your continued portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are here to say that the best is yet to come. Greater, brighter, and better days are ahead. My Bishop Daniel, I always love to sing his song. Tomorrow's for us. Brighter days are ahead. A light is shining on our path. For we have seen the light. We will rise and shine. Jesus is our light. God is doing great and marvelous and mighty things. Those who hitherto laughed at you return and laugh with you. They will rejoice with you. They will rejoice continually with me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because the Lord is doing great and mighty things. Because he has turned around our captivity and our mouth is like them that dream. So we are saying here that keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Just work at loving him more. Loving him more. Loving him more. When you love the Lord God Almighty, Deuteronomy 6, 5 says you should love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your might, with all of your soul. When you love God so, with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your might, of course, what will happen? He will send his angels. Psalm 90, Psalm 90, 11, we send his angels to watch over you, to ensure, 12, that you do not dash your foot against the stone. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected to your maker. Don't give up. Don't give in. Take time to study the word. Spend time in the word. Make it your standard for living. And he will come through for you. Deuteronomy 20, 23, 25. Exodus 23, 25. says that when you serve the Lord God, he will bless your bread. He will bless your water. He will bless your bread. He will bless your water. He will remove sickness from you. He will give you life and joy everlasting evermore. And the end result is Psalm 126, 3, where you will say, He has done great things. My daddy has done great things. He alone has done great things. Greater things he will do. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. I like to always sign off when I make some postings. I just say, he has done great things and greater things he shall yet do to the glory and praise of his name alone. And so, Father, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. It is our earnest prayer that this will be the portion of everyone. 
and we shall all have cause to say, ah, look back and say, yes, indeed, the Lord has done great things. Yes, Psalm 124, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we will have cause to say, God answered the enemy and caused us to prevail over the enemy, to walk over the enemy. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. We would always say to you, if you do not yet know him, that you need to know Jesus. Jesus is the reason for our boast. Jesus is the one that does great and mighty things. Jesus is the one that can and is able to turn things around for you and make great and mighty things continue to happen for you. John 3, 6, John chapter number 6, verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you. Seek it, seek him, and everything else shall be added unto you. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continence of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Over and over and over again. We can go on and on and on. But we are just here to make the clips short and to encourage you to say that better, better days are ahead. Better days are ahead. Psalm 126, you will say, and I will say, that when the Lord turned again the captivity, it is turned already. In our nation, everywhere else, it is turned. In your life, in my life, it is turned. Let's keep it so. Thank you so very much for streamlining. This is our YouTube channel, Edith Atake, Church on the Air. Like, share on Facebook, search the scriptures, nation building, when you pray and I pray, ministers of the church. Thank you so very much for streamlining. God bless you.